computer. Yay! Welcome everybody. Um, happy middle of February and I, we've been chatting about it being cold everywhere so hope you're snuggled up and um, thanks for taking time to be on this call. I, like I was just saying it's really important and I just did an Instagram story about that. Pro tip, be on the calls. Um, I know not everybody can be on live, but filling your cup with this and putting this in the forefront of your brain this way is just a really great way to stay connected with your business. So thanks for being on. Um, we're so excited tonight. We've got a great guest speaker. Um, her name is Shalini and she is, I, I think of her as a new kid on the block, although I don't think she's that. She, I think she's been in for a while. She'll tell us her, her story, but she's one of those girls that she started showing up and you were like, okay, she's got what it takes. She just is a total rock star. Her, the way, her presence, her, her presence in social media, but more than that, like the way that she talks to you. Um, I've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with her and we, Monica and I also were um, guests on her team call, I think just last week. And she just makes you feel like you are really important when she talks to you. And what a gift to be able to make somebody feel special just by talking to them. So you have that gift, Shalini, and we noticed from your team call, you know, we, we, we train for other teams pretty often and every team sort of has a vibe and your vibe was just so sweet and loving and it's because of you, like you have just infiltrated your team with just this great energy. So anyway, I'm just so excited to have you here. Um, she's going to talk to us about how we call this topic momming in the biz, but if you guys aren't mothers, that's okay. This call is still for you. It's basically how to work this business in the cracks of your day. And most of you have other things going on. Um, so I think this is a really important topic. Shalini, I think I'm going to go ahead and send it to you, but will you just start with a little bit, you know, of an intro of how you got started in Zaya? Absolutely. I was chuckling before. I think it's hilarious that you can hear our little girl screaming in the background as I'm starting to talk on this call. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm so delighted to be here with you all. Truly just re really excited and humbled. Um, a little bit about my story. I'm actually from Minnesota. I know they're just reading through the chat. There are so many Minnesota girls here. I'm so, so excited to see so many Minnesota girls. We're in Denver, Colorado now. Um, I actually was introduced to Zaya um, January of 2019 um, by my sister-in-law. I'd never heard of Zaya Active before. I was kind of moving out of a previous health coaching business and our daughter was just a month old at that point, kind of looking for something to keep my foot in the door of all things health and wellness, but also kind of take a step back um, from pouring out, pouring out, pouring out. Um, and um, my sister-in-law said, hey, check out Zaya Active. I went home. I was super intrigued. Googled it, spelled it the wrong way. What came up once I got it right were the four pillars of the company, which we all know, community, activity, light, and uplift. And I was like, I love that. So did a little bit more digging and I was super intrigued as to whether or not the company actually lived out the mission of those pillars. And I mean, we can all agree. <laughs> they do a fabulous, the Bradley do a fabulous um, job of doing that. And so I ordered my first couple pieces being one month postpartum with our little girl and pulled on my first pair of actually, it was a pair of brilliance at that time. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I feel like I can love myself right where I'm at one month post one month postpartum and also desire to get back to where I wanted to be health and fitness wise. And I was like, I want to share this with other women. So that was January, 2019. And I actually, honestly, um, in February of that year, um, right after I had signed up, I spent an overnight in the hospital and then our little girl spent a, a week and a half in the hospital. Everyone's fine. Um, so it wasn't actually until April of that year that I started working my business. So that's kind of how I, I was introduced to it and I've never looked back. It's been such a, just a joy. Um, and I get to meet all of you lovely ladies on occasion too, which has been so fun. So um, I wanted to chat with you all. Um, yes, as Katie mentioned, um, the subject is momming in the biz, but she took the words right out of my mind too. Of even if you're not in the season of life where you are a mom, this is so fitting for all of us. Um, we could have called this 
busy and the biz, right? Like <laughs> we're all busy in some way, shape or form. And I hope that what I can share with you today is just um, reminders or permission, not that you need permission to work your business in ways that suit you. Um, and so let's just jump into it. So the first and foremost thing that I wanted to say is juggling roles is hard. Whether you work full time, whether you're a mom, whether you work part-time, whether you're doing this, whether you're doing that, whatever it is, you have multiple roles roles that you're pouring yourself into um, and you're pouring yourself into your customers' lives, your family's lives, whatever it be, juggling roles can be so difficult sometimes. Um, so the first thing I would just wanted to say and as a reminder mostly is simply that seasons change, right? That can go with our family lives and that can also go within our businesses. Seasons change and that's okay. I think sometimes we can get so stuck in um, clinging to certain seasons seasons because everything's going up and we know as life is an entrepreneur, right? CEOs of our businesses. Life isn't always like going on the up, uphill side and same with our family lives. It's not always uphill. So just recognize or remember just this moment of seasons change and that's okay. I can, I am a part of a business in that is uh, may fit into my life and not the other way around. So seasons change and that's okay. Um, and then the second kind of reminder is simply keeping the big picture the big picture. I think it's probably safe to say that if you're on this call, invest in your Zaya business in some way, shape, or form. And keeping the big picture the big picture has been so incredibly helpful particularly when it comes um, to my business life and my family life. Um, this, this business to spend less time with our family. Um, that was right. We didn't join Zaya saying like, my goal is to spend every waking hour working my Zaya business. It was probably the opposite. My goal is to create something here with Zaya so that I could spend more time with my family. So I could pour out into my kids. So I could do these fun, creative things. Um, last week, uh, what, I think it was last week or the week before, I don't remember when Katie and Monica were on the call, they were talking about how they're going shopping on Monday into a spa day. And so many of the gals on my team and I are still at the place where we're like, that would be so awesome. So they're creating this really beautiful structure in which out, pour out into this business so they can go hang out and go do those fun, glamorous things, as I like to call them. So you have permission to set boundaries. You have permission, not that you need permission again, but you have permission to set boundaries. And I always tell my girl, boundaries prevent burnout, period. Boundaries prevent burnout. So when we are setting boundaries within our family life and the time we spend there versus the time that we spend um, working our businesses, those boundaries actually allow us um, to grow, grow love and presence with our families all the more. Um, so tweak and change and pivot and adjust your businesses to suit your day to day. All of that to say we show up and we work hard, <laughs> right? We can set the boundaries, we do these things, but we show up, we show up with focus. And it, I always tell my girls this too. It is not about having a ton of time. It is about having focused time, non uh, distracted time to pour out into your business. And I think we have a business in which easy to get distracted. So many of us are on social media. That's how we work our businesses or our email chains or whatever it is, right? It's really fun to create pretty, pretty graphics and all those sorts of things. But it really, this business is not about having a ton of time. It is this time. Oh, with that said, kind of leading into um, this part, I just wanted to leave you with the three best practices as biz owner and mama, or again, if you're not mama, biz owner and busy life, you could say, um, just the three best practices that I personally have found that perhaps might be of benefit or use to you um, in your business and in your life. The first thing I wanted to share about is set a time for work. And I, and I think that's one thing that we've seen or uh, seen have heard before, right, or seen, um, we all have heard this probably, set time to work your business. And I will challenge you to kind of add a component to that is to also not only set a time for working your business, but set a time to be present. Set a time to work a business. Yes, we get that. Set a time to be present. And that has really, really helped me stay on track. When I can set my work time, I know, okay, I'm going to show up at this time. I'm going to get what I need to get done. And then 
I am going to set a time to be present. Once our daughter is up, that is mommy time. Um, once your, you know, once your work emails have started coming in, maybe that's your time to switch over to your nine to five job, whatever it is for you, set the time for working your Zaya business and set time to be present elsewhere. Because when we kind of have a cap to our Zaya business time in the day to day, we're not going to waste time doing this or doing that. We know, okay, these are my three things I'm going to get done today. I'm going to focus in, I'm going to get them done and I'm going to move on. And it is the small today that will lead to sustainable long-term business. I think that's what we're all here for um, in some way. So set a time for work and set a time to be present. Um, Lee, these are some kind of like um, practical things that help me be present as mom here at home. I stay home with our little girl and work my Zaya business. Um, I leave my phone in a different room. Once Callan is up, uh, my phone is plugged in in our bathroom and I turn my notifications off. I have an Apple watch, so I make sure my notifications are turned off so I can't cheat <laughs> because I know I will. <laughs> I'll look at all my notif notifications come through on my watch. My notifications on silent. So perhaps that's helpful for you. Um, I'm hoping there's a day that I can get to that point where I can carry my phone around and not have my notifications on silent. I'm not there yet and that's okay. Um, so that's super helpful for me to just focus in on Callan. If she's only old and actually I had a moment of, um, I don't know, kind of a slap in the face. It was actually two weeks ago where I was going to walk downstairs with her and um, I had not put my phone in the bathroom and she was about to walk downstairs. And I said, hold on, Kellen, I have my, and even before I finished that sentence, she said, phone mommy. And I was like, interesting. So she's catching on where mommy has her phone and I do not want <laughs> her to kind of get used to mommy has her phone when she's around me. I want her to sense that um, presence of mind and heart when I'm with her. And maybe that, again, if you're not a mom yet, maybe that means presence in your work, full-time job. Maybe that means present with presence with your family, whatever that means for you, be present where you are, whether that means work in your business or elsewhere. Um, another kind of quote I tell myself, this is actually from Brené Brown. Um, she says, clear is kind, unclear is unkind. And I love that. So clear is kind, meaning I set expectations with my and I set expectations with my customers. My customers and my teammates know for the most part, Shaw's not going to answer messages on Sundays because that's their family day. And even communicating that to my um, customers and to my teammates, oh, you have an emergency, just shoot me and tell me. Um, but for my customers, they kind of know, oh yeah, Shaw's taking the day off. Um, so clear is kind. The more clear we can be with our customers and our teammates, the more freedom we have to be present where we're at. So that has also really, really helped me. Clear is kind, unclear is unkind. Um, and then lastly, realize that building this business in the dream life that you wanna create, whatever that looks like for you, will take smart sacrifice. And I, and I like the word smart in there because I think it's easy to um, want to build a business like this and say like, I'm going to take sacrifice. Maybe I have to work, wake up earlier. Maybe I have to you know spend less time watching Netflix at, at the end of the day to work my business, whatever it is. But I want you to think it takes smart sacrifice. This isn't again, spending, it's not about spending a ton of time, right? It's not about spending eight hours a day um, doing about small incremental steps over time. So yes, it's going to take sacrifice, but be smart about the sacrifices that you're making. Um, I choose to wake up really early. I love to sleep, um, but I recognize that the dream life that I want to build is so worth the sacrifice that's to make right now. Sacrifice the things that you can sacrifice, but don't sacrifice presence with your people. Um, uh, the second part of this, so first is set time for work and for presence. The second part of this is set a top three priority list for the day. We all know as I have is, is that we could go on, right? We reach out to 10 more people. We could do this. We could do that. Our to-do list within our Zaya businesses are long if we want them to be. I enjoy working my Zaya business to no man's business. I could continue doing this forevermore. So it's been really helpful to take a step back from my business and say, okay, Monday morning, this is what I do in my team page. This is what I do in my VIP group. This is what I do for my customers. And that 
that is my top three. And if Talon wakes up before um, I get to anything else, I'm going to take the rest of my to-do li to list and then scoot those to my top three priority list for Tuesday. So really it comes down to, and maybe for you it's five things on your top priority list, but my encouragement to you is to really hone in again, working smarter um, with a minimal amount of time. So um, I, yeah, again, encourage you, okay, what are the things that you should be doing to build a sustainable long-term business? Get those things first business and then move what you need to to the top for the next day. Um, that way you're able to get what you need to get done and then go be present with your people um, or whatever it is you're doing. Um, and then lastly, that was kind of one, lastly, plan ahead. Um, I was trying... You're definitely hearing Callan in the background. So sorry, don't know how loud that is. Um, I was trying to remember that quote. It was, it's something, you know, plan to succeed or fail to plan. plan to, one of you could probably tell me what it is exactly. Um, but ultimately plan ahead. This business is beautiful in that we can kind of see what's coming. Yes, failure to plan is planning to fail. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry for real, real life mom life happening here. Um, so plan, plan ahead. We have the beauty in this business. Okay, that time. The beauty in this business is simply that we can kind of see what's coming down the pipeline, right? We know parties are coming down the pipeline. We know, oh, it's Maker Monday today. We know uh, new release Wednesday is going to happen on Wednesday. Whatever else is happening. So. Another encouragement to you is find resources that really, really help you plan. I love using Cinch Share if you're familiar with it, or um, Post My Party is another one I'm not as familiar. But really, what I can do is say life gets crazy for whatever reason, w whether it's mom life or whether it's that or that or that or that for you. Um, you've done your part in planning the things that you can plan. I think there are a lot of things in our business that. Um, perhaps we try to control that we shouldn't be controlling versus the things that we can control and actually have control over, right? I can't control how many people join my team. I can do my reach outs and invites and pour myself out into that. But the reality is I, I'm not going to control who signs up this month with me. So I'm going to let go of that kind of control. And I'm going to come over here and say, I can be posting about the rep opportunity. I can be posting about, Hey, I have open party dates for March and April. Hey, here's make room Monday. Here's what's out today. So plan ahead. What are the things in your business that you can use a resource for and plan ahead. So that way, again, you are most able when life gets crazy because it does right. Seasons change and they ebb and they flow we are most able to be most present where we need to be because we've taken the time to plan ahead. So uh, leaving you with a question, what systems do you have in place to be the best rep and family member possible? They're not exclusive things, um, so don't let go of that. With that, I will leave it there for any questions or thoughts um, at all. I hope that was helpful. So helpful. You guys, if you have questions, just put them in the chat. Um, and I love your top three. I use this notepad. I get it from Amazon. You guys just type in today's plan. It's like $10 and it has your, your top three. And then it's like next in line. And then if we're lucky and I do just what Shalini says and anything that doesn't get done, I move on to the next day. And it is like my lifeline every day. So helpful. Okay, anybody else? I also made a post it to go on my computer. Clear is kind. It's going on. I love it. It's so good. So good. That was from her book, uh, Dare. Um, a Brene Brown, a Brene Brown quote? Yeah, Dare to Lead. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah, I really like that one. It's just a good reminder that those boundaries are, are appropriate and great and fine and. Absolutely. Okay, anybody else? I appreciate you being available at this time. This is obviously the middle of the crazy <laughs> period at night because it's 630 for you. So you're so sweet. Thank you for doing Glad this. To be here. Of course. Thank you for having me. I am so grateful. All right. Hey, I have a question. It's Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Um, 
how, hey, how are you? So where in Minnesota, well, one, where in Minnesota were you from? Because I'm from Minnesota too. St. Bonifacius. Yeah, like right. Yep, Chaska. Tiny little Chaska farm here. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Sorry if my connections is really bad over here. Um, how, so you just work in the morning? Would you say like an hour or do you work when she goes to bed too? Or nap time? Yeah, so I, I would wake up early. I work for about an hour and a half in the morning. And then I've learned at this point not to bank on nap time. <laughs> um, I used to bank on nap time and it made me the most not great mom slash business owner. I think we can all, if we do have kiddos, we can kind of feel that tension. Um, so yeah, I just work in the morning and then I try not to work at night because my husband is finally home and it's kind of our sacred time to just hang out together. Um, I do do lives in my parties on Wednesday nights, and then we do have our team calls on Thursday nights. But other than that, um, everything gets done in the morning. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I guess when I'm at home all day, like I can just work whenever I want to. So yeah, I need to block it out, even though you have all day to do it. So I totally understand that. And I'm home all day too. And I, I was totally of that mentality, I think, as I, kind of going back to that tension, I was just realizing like I was getting frustrated with our little one when I would like, oh, see a message come through and I'd want to respond to a customer or one of my teammates has has a question. I don't want to get back to it right now. So I'm like trying to voice memo, but Callan's like, mommy, snack, mommy, snack. And I'm like trying to get this message done and then trying to be a mom, but totally not done in charity. And so I was just realizing like something has to change, which kind of goes back to my smart sacrifice. My, for me, that smart sacrifice meant like, if I want to be the best, best mom possible, I'm going to have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep so I can be a great desire rep and then also be a great mom. So, but it looks different for everybody. Right. Great tips. Thanks. You're welcome. Melanie, somebody said, what about answering messages? Yes. So I don't answer messages. I answer messages in that chunk of time in the morning, for sure, for sure. And then if Cal does take a nap, I'll sit back down and answer messages then. Otherwise they do wait until the next morning. Um, and that's just how it is. Um, I've never had anyone say, excuse me, where are you? <laughs> um, and if, if they did by chance, I would just say, hey, just to let you know, full-time mom over here. Thank you so much for your patience. I so appreciate it. I'll get you handled um, or taken care of as soon as I sit down tomorrow morning to work. You know, um, I love the unread uh, option <laughs> that I can always come back to messages to go back and respond to. Um, so that's kind of what I, how I handle messages. It's the temptation is so real for me still to check messages, even when I know it's such a practice in self-control and discipline, which so I, discipline. yes, yes. Which I always translate to Shalini, just be self-controlled and disciplined. It will help you in the long term with your Zaya business. And but I think, yeah. and look at you. I mean, she, you guys, I forgot to say in her intro, she's a Zaya exec. This is, she, she knows what she's doing. I just love this example of that you do not have to be on your phone all day to be successful at this business. It's more about that focused, intentional work. I just love this. Yeah, I, and the, the other kind of piggyback off of that that I was gonna say right before that is I want this to be duplicatable. I want people that see me even on social media or I want my team to be able to see, Shaw's not on her phone all the time. Um, she's working in small focused pockets of her day to day. And I want them to duplicate that because we, Again, boundaries prevent burnout. So I don't want my girls to get burned out and I want prospective reps to see this is doable. I don't want them to see me posting, posting, posting literally 24 hours a day because I don't want someone to think, well, I can't post 24 hours a day. So I guess I can't be a Zaya rep. So there's another good boundary thing that draws your people will be drawn to your brown boundaries. Um, Tanya uh, posted a message in there, Shalini, about what's included in work. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. This is great. So I actually have on my board right here. Um, Mondays I do team celebrations. I always will go through my Facebook. This is, so let me just start here. Monday through Friday, I will always go through my Facebook messages, my Instagram messages, um, and my email. So that's a part of every single morning. Um, and then just depending on what day of the week it is, it's kind of divided out. So Mondays are team celebrations. 
um, within our team page. I will also circle back around to anybody that, that I'm chatting with about the rep opportunity to see if you have any questions or thoughts. That's my Monday kind of team focused. Um, with that said, and then on Tuesday, it's also a little bit more specifically team focused in which I just post a training go I kind of go research a training that our team could kind of use and post a team training in our team page um, or in our team message group chat thread. Um, Wednesdays are new releases um, and then kind of inspiration and throughout this time um, I'm following up with customers on Wednesdays as well too. So Wednesdays are kind of my like okay big Zaya day new releases are coming out following up with customers um, as well. And then Thursdays we have our team call. So it's kind of a more mellow day. And then Friday, I almost like more or less take off um, unless in the beginning of the months and then the end of the months look a little bit different just based on what's happening or you know what we're revving up to do or what we're winding down from. Um, but that's kind of the general outline. It is a lot of work, um, but broken down into chunks or periods. You don't have to do everything all at once. You don't have to do everything every single day. <laughs> um, so that's another good thing. If you haven't kind of done like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's, you know, through the whole week, what am I going to do to build my own business? What am I going to do to pour out into my team or your potential team? Um, I definitely do that because that's going to help you set your boundaries and then work from there with your top three priorities too. Um, so many great questions. Yes, social media posting uh, on stories. If I'm away from my phone all day, I'm away from my phone all day. So I kind of have a routine on Instagram stories where I wake up, um, I have my kind of quiet prayer time, and then I'll go get my go-go juice. I'll come sit on my computer, get some work done as I'm chugging my go-go juice, get my workout in, and then my phone goes away really because by that time, typically Cal's awake. And there's nothing really happening <laughs> at all on stories until um, either my husband gets home or Cal's down for her nap and then I'll post on stories again. But really, I think that was a uh, pressure for me, I think at the very beginning of my other business and then even coming into Zaya of, I need to make sure I'm in front of people. And I think that's true, but I think we need to um, make sure we're in front of people with intention. <laughs> um, I think it, it's really important to be intentional about what we're posting. So I'm intentionally off of social media because again, when I want, I want to draw in the people that are like, hey, what is this you're doing? And I'm saying, hey, I take this chunk of time away from my phone because I'm hanging out with my daughter. Um, give yourself permission for that. Um, to get all of them, when you have a party going, what do you interact with your guests on the party participation form? Yes, um, in the mornings or at nap time if I have a lucky nap that afternoon. Um, so I use Cinch Share again, so I, my posts are going, I'm not present at all um, until early morning again or nap time. And then I'll go in and like and comment, like and comment. So I'm not, um, as people are commenting away, I'm not in real time. Like as soon as I see a notification pop up that somebody had commented, it's gonna wait till I respond. Um, I think the most important thing for me with parties has just been keeping in contact with hosts. So when I'm, when I have a hostess, when I have a party for a week, I'm most in contact with the hostess and then kind of leave the comments and the likes from the guests until those chunks of time that I work. Buckets, that's perfect, yep. So good. I think I got them all. Yeah, I mean, you guys, it, you have to just make it work for you. And I think that's what Shalini's done really well with the, the season of life she's in. And you look at your business and the season of life you're in and where you have you know, time available, it's going to look different. All of our, all of our schedules do look different, but I think the main idea is just that um, we're not just letting the business happen to you and letting your phone happen to you. Like you can, you can decide when and how you want to, to use this tool um, to grow your business. And I think that's just a really great reminder. Okay. I love what you said. Yes. You're not letting your phone happen to you. <laughs> well, we love like I love that. <laughs> It's hard. I mean, it, 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 so hard. like you said, it requires a ton of discipline. That thing is just, it is all consuming. So it's, I think, I think my problem is I love it all so much that it's hard 
because I just want to do it, you know, so it's hard not to. Sure. It's like, so I think um, most of us feel that way. It's like, it's really fun and we want to do it. And you, you get, you guys, you get like that, that chemical, what is it? Dopamine when you get a message, it's like a physical reaction. Like, whoa, so <laughs> it's not just that we're um, not disciplined. It's that we are having a physical response to our phone. And so working against it is, is a big challenge, but yeah. we can do it. Yep. Totally. If it's something you want to do. And if you're fine with your balance right now, then that's good too. It doesn't mean you can't do stories all day or whatever it is you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the, the end point caveat is ultimately, I think within our Zaya businesses, right? Something's going to work for you perfectly. And then the other, like maybe this entire thing for you is like, no, I'm not in that season right now. Fabulous. When, and if you are, <laughs> it's all here for you. So good. Well, we really appreciate your time. I'm so appreciative. I'm clapping for all of you. Keep going. Happy 2021. See you at summer in September. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.